So if the fourth estate was the professional media that grew up to um, hold the government accountable um, in a democracy, there is now a fifth estate that is doing that work. Um, and and it's, it's fuzzier and it's hard to define it, um, but it could possibly be, in terms of resources, much larger than the fourth estate. Um, that's not absolutely evident yet, but it's certainly a possibility. Um, oh, wait. Um, the, the forces that would spin the news have mastered the internet. Um, so, it, and, and, and my point in stating that is that um, the population is vulnerable to misinformation. Um, and, and we see that in so many different ways, fake press conferences, completely staged um, events. If you look at just the way MTV, um, with their Video Music Awards recently, dominated Twitter, um, that did not happen by chance. Um, you know, Kanye went up and interrupted Taylor, and then Beyonce had this wonderful moment of graciousness. And it's hard to say how much of that was scripted, if any. But MTV had a plan to take an event, the Video Music Awards, which would become almost a non-entity in the entertainment world, and resurrect it and bring it back into this very influential place by using social media. And the day after the um, the week after the Video Music Awards, um, eight of the top ten trending topics on Twitter the entire week had to do with the MTV Video Music Awards. And that was um, by design. I mean, they, they established um, an enormous presence on Twitter in a variety of ways that, that were not transparent. Um, they created a news agency within MTV where um, all the video, the relevant videos of what, what happened that night um, were, were produced and put onto the website in chunks and made embeddable so that you could embed it in your website or on Facebook and spread it. Um, and, and they really mastered the use of social networks to, um, to create a cultural phenomenon that probably would have been much less significant if they hadn't been as um, as strategic as they were. So that's just one example. Um, political and there's all sorts of political stuff that's going on, and I don't even bring it up because it just starts an argument about who's right and who's wrong when you're talking about Barack Obama's birth certificate or um, the nine twelvers or the tea bag group. Um, so I. I, I don't want to get into the political arguments, but you can see the same forces at work um, with, those, with those issues. Um, and the other thing um, that, I, I won't say we discovered this because it's already been made apparent by other people, but it's been reinforced in the work that we're doing, is that citizens need a new set of skills. The average citizen is standing at the end of a fire hose of information and is using this old set of skills to sort through this information that's coming at him in a very different way. And um, there's, there's a lot of work going on right now to identify what those skills are and figure out how we will teach citizens to participate in um, this new democracy that's emerging, but um, there's, no, um, there's no guarantee that that's gonna happen. So 